a departure from its predecessor, the medieval worldview, the Renaissance worldview anchored and celebrates the artistic side of humanity. The Renaissance gave rise to change human perspective to religion and church. This different perception allowed scrutiny and reform to religious views and issues. On the other hand, the Enlightenment worldview is a continuation of the Renaissance worldview, except that it is more focused on science, reason, and logic. The Renaissance worldview is what prompted the movement of discovery and objectivity, though its main focus is on the humanistic perspective and view. The Enlightenment is the combination of the use of reason, rationality, and objectivity, and became the period of focus and viewpoint. Coming to the 20th century, particularly in 1939, led by Adolf Hitler, Germany struck and evaded Poland from the West, started the World War II. Touching on morality and art, authors like Golding, Murdoch, Spark and Burgess bring the thoughts on religion and philosophy into existence as a renewed attempt to present the vision of the world as a battleground of forces of good and evil. William Golding published his first novel, Lord of the Flies, in 1954. Lord of the Flies explored the savage side of human nature as the boys let loose from the constraints of society, brutally turns against one another in the face of an imagined enemy. Riddled with symbolism, the book set the tone for Golding's future work in which he continued to examine man's internal struggles between good and evil. The theme of human evil in Lord of the Flies and several of his other novels is rumored to come from his real-life experiences in World War II, where Golding witnessed many battles and attacks and experienced firsthand how men can return to barbarism under pressure. Iris Murdoch, reflecting the morality behind symbolic structure in her works, conveying moral themes of longing for spiritual life, Murdoch raised a homosexual character in The Bell, which was praised by Irving Howe as a rare novelistic gift. The introduction relates the title The Sea, The Sea, to a quote from Port Valeria de Mitterrand Marine, The Graveyard by the Sea. The readers could see the sea as a metaphor for the world Charles Arabai chose to dive into, a confusion of beauty, creativity, and monsters of the deep. Then, there is the theme of lost youth and the existence of forces within the universe we cannot understand. Spark or Muriel Sarah Spark, Catholic Scottish novelist, wrote The Ballad of Peckham 1960, and the renowned The Prime of Miss Jean Brodie, 1961. As a Roman Catholic herself, she often linked her Catholicism sensibility to emerge in the portrayal of diabolic figures. In the novel, the prime of Miss Jean Brody circulate themes between religion, transfiguration, and betrayal among the characters. Miss Brody plays a kind of secular god by electing and transfiguring six girls as students into the crème la crème and ends with an irony. Burgess, in his novel, A Clockwork Orange, believe that the freedom to choose is the big human attribute, meaning that the presence of moral choice ultimately distinguishes human beings from machine or lower animals. In this novel, Alex's self-determination was robbed by the government where he is forced to exert his free will by choosing a cause of wickedness. Alex was made a criminal guilty of violence, rape, and theft. Hence, Alex becomes nothing more than a thing when the state removes Alex's power to choose his own moral cause of action. As reaction towards it, Burgess argues that humanity must at all costs insist that individuals be allowed to make their own moral choices even if that freedom results in moral corruption. <laughs>